Hey guys, um, going to go ahead and do another video tonight. It's going to be another unboxing of the Fit Fab Fun Box. Sally, I don't have my little co-host with me today. She is on spring break and she is up north with her grandmother and I am kind of disappointed not to have her here. However, I needed to get this video done. So I might do a follow-up video where if she gets to talk about some things, but in the time being, I'm going to do the video. So I did the regular Fit Fab Fun box. This time I did something a little different. They had those cart add-ons that you can choose from. They add them to the box and then they bill you separately. And one thing I decided to put in the cart add-on is something I've been looking at for a while. And it's called this Fit Inspiration Journal. Um, it's a six-week fitness meets gratitude journal to focus on goals to live life fit. So I am really wanting to work on my fitness just to be healthier and be able to do more with my kids. So um, I got this journal as a way to help me achieve that. And I've been looking at this journal for a few weeks because it seems very interesting compared to other journals where it's just more about how many exercise you did, your reps, etc. This one has an entry for every day of things I'm grateful for and you can put two, one, two, three things or more if you want to make space for it and then it talks about how you nourished yourself, your reflection on your mood that day, one thing you appreciate about your body so it helps you kind of get that self-esteem built up. I haven't started working on it yet. I do plan on trying to get a workout system set up to help me be able to fill this out and keep track of it. So I have been looking at this for a while. It was an add-on in the cart for about seven something. And normally it retails about $16, $17. So I got that as an additional thing with my box this month. Or this quarter. So let me grab the box. Oh, sorry for the close one up. It's a very kind of desert themed box. We have cactuses with um, desert flowers and everything. Go ahead and take a look. So, Fit Fab Fun Spring 2019. Put you there, please don't fall. First thing on top of the box is the same thing as always the Fit Fab Fun Spring Magazine. It tells you about interesting articles, recipes, it tells you the value of the things you got in the box. So, I really do like to look at that. It kind of reminds me of, oh, what my options were. Maybe I kind of regret what I chose. And I'm like, maybe I should have gone with that. But oh well, it's completely fine. And then this one has some other things in it this, this quarter making differences, some interesting recipes, things that I'm going to have a look at later. So, let's go ahead and start seeing what I chose for this Fit Fab Fun box. Paper. Yeah, I got paper. So the first thing I pulled out is the Show Me Your Moo Moo. It is based on here. It's a Show Me Your Moo Moo Brie robe. Um, retails $84. It is a very light feminine floral design. Not usually something I wear. Um, we'll see if I like it. I might use it. If not, I will find a family member or some employee or coworker that might get a kick out of it. But I know this is one of the things that I chose because you could choose this, a backpack or a meditation aromatherapy diffuser. Didn't really need a backpack, didn't really need a diffuser. I already have them. So I figured get something that maybe I could use. Next was the Two Bandits necklace, which retails at $30. I actually kind of like this necklace. I'm trying to see if I can get a better view for you without a little bit glare from the plastic. Okay. It's a simple little bar necklace. Let's see if I can. Simple bar necklace. It's silver. And that looks like it is white crystal flex in the middle of the bar. I like this because I like silver jewelry and it's it is cute it's elegant but simple i don't like things that are very out ordinary because the other options within this category was a translucent setting powder not something i really needed and a sip be swell drink bottle steel water bottle another thing i don't need i'm swamped in water bottles so i really didn't need another one of those and you my friend please get in there 
The only thing, it's plated jewelry and it says I can be careful with water and perfumes because they can turn us. You're sleeping or not wearing store and soft cloth. So plated jewelry. Hopefully I don't have an allergic reaction to this because I do have a metal allergy to nickel. We'll see. I doesn't really say anything about that. The next item was No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel. Um, it was by Dr. Brandt. Uh, this is one of the options between... Oh, it's, a, it's, it's one of those things I think everybody got. I will use this. My eyes are getting puffy with school and work and everything. Lack of sleep, being a mom. Then I have a OE leave-in conditioner, which was another thing that I think by the looks of it, everybody got. So that gel was $42, this is $26. This is actually gonna get used, this leave-in conditioner. My daughter has thick hair like me and it is something that is gonna help keep it contained and smooth and get rid of the tangle bugs as we call them in my household. And I'll definitely be using it on my hair after my showers. Um, Another thing, just grab, just grab, is a daily detox massaging brush, which retails $18. I've always been kind of looking on and off at buying one of these things. I've heard great things about dry brushing for circulation and cellulite. So I just never made that jump to purchase it. Um, I did with this box because the other options was a face cleanser, which I have plenty of those, and a jump rope, which... Maybe I should have bought with my goal to get healthy and lose weight, but I already have jump ropes because of my daughter. So I figured this is a good way for me to try that dry brushing routine and see its benefits. It's got little white knobs on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. And this is a black bag. Oh, these are the sunglasses. So one of the options was uh, two types of sunglasses. You can choose between two types. One that was a cat eye type style and one was a aviator type style. Or you could have a picnic set with nice forks. We don't do enough spoon picnics. Or um, a sleeping facial cream. So I went with the aviator style sunglasses um, by Quay Australia Vivian in black. And this is Vivian in black smoke. The other option of sunglasses was My Girl in Black Smoke, which was a uh, cat eye. Oh my gosh, these are huge. Oh my gosh, these are huge. I look like a bug. So I don't know how I feel about these. These are a lot bigger than I expected. Um, I kind of regret them now. I kind of wish I went with the cat eye instead, but I thought those would be too, I don't know. I kind of, we'll see. I might grow to love them, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, these are huge. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'll just put these back for now. Bust up in my hair. And these retail at $60 compared to the cat eye one, which was $55. Probably should have gone with the cat eye. Let's put you away safely. Do not break. I'll just make do with you until I can get some sunglasses that fit my face. I don't know why aviators are very popular. I just, ah, and it went through the other side of the bag. I take the bag off. Let's just take the bag off. And it does come with this nice little black case. So, I mean, that's a pretty good benefit not having my car. All right, next thing is the mystery item. So one of the options was either to do uh, copper plated measuring spoons, which I already have two sets of measuring spoons. Body lotion, which I have a ton of body lotion as it is, and I'm not very good at using them. Or a mystery item, which could be $20 or more. So I went with the mystery item, hoping it's something that I could actually use. And it looks like they sent me champagne charcoal scrub. Um, right there. Doesn't it really? There we go. Yay! Um, that's a pretty cute little cat. Let's see if it's, oh, it's, it's foiled. So that's what I got with that. And it's just like any scrub, just massage into your skin and rinse off. Oh no, actually that's not the mystery item. That actually is the thing that everybody else gets. Not one of those um, items that you choose between. Okay, so what was my mystery item? Uh, 
let's see. I see paper, paper, paper. Um, oh, here we go. I'm assuming this is my mystery item. So cover FX shimmer veil. Pearlescent cream, perfect for eyelids. It can be used anywhere you want. A veil shimmer. Okay. So it's a makeup. So color FX shimmer veil. So I'm assuming it's like a shimmery eyeshadow. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I can swatch it really quick. It is a, kind of like a, ah, uh, there we go. Like a silver, ah, where's my, there we go. Right there. I am pale, so that's probably why you can't see it very well. But it's basically a silver shimmery cream. All right, so that must be my mystery item. Haha. -ha. Okay, that explains it. So then that's everything in the box for this quarter for Fab Fit Fun. Not really disappointed in anything. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing the Fab Fit Fun subscription after this first year is up. I There's some things that I really like such as that argan moroccan oil hair conditioner i got that deep hair conditioner i really like that and actually purchased it outside of this box because of this box and then also the spongel or spongelli um which is that buffer with soap built into it i purchased that also separately compared to this box so this box has done some good things in opening my eyes to other products i didn't know about but in regards to if I really want to keep spending the money for things that I'm not always excited about, I'm just like, eh, it's okay. Uh, I still have to decide on that. I think it's a really cool concept. Uh, and maybe if they can kind of cater them a bit more to people, have a box that is more catered to people who are sporty and a box that's more catered to people who are into cooking a little bit more or have a bit more of an expanded options list that might entice me a little bit more, but we'll see. I might continue with this box for the next year because I'm not necessarily a quitter, um, but I'll take a look. I am still kind of looking at other boxes that I want to try. I'm a big geeker, nerd geek. I was going to say geek. I don't know what a combination of the two. And there's boxes designed for that, such as Marvel boxes, the, the nerd boxes, Supernatural specific boxes, um, Korean beauty boxes. I kind of am starting to fall in love with Korean beauty. So we'll see if I choose a different box and try to go from there. Otherwise, I mean, I am happy with this box. I like what I got. I like that I do have choices and not have the same necessarily get what a box of things that I might not like at all. So I do like having choices. Choices are a good thing, but we'll see. Um, so that's all for this box today. If you have any questions or you want to subscribe, just go ahead and click the like button below. And then hopefully the next video, or next video, two videos, little co-host Maya will be back because I think a lot of people prefer to see her over me. All right. Have a great day. Peace out.